Hi everyone, it's Sandy here. I have a, another fun project to share with you. It's a simple pocket using one piece of 6x6 six six paper. Uh, this project here is a loaded pocket and um, I'm going to be gifting this with the rest of my giveaway prize that I'm going to be doing after this video. So stay tuned for the next video and that will be my giveaway. So I'm going to show you what's inside this pocket and what you will receive if you are the winner. And then I'll also show you how you can make this simple pocket using uh, one piece of 6x6 six six paper. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what's inside. Uh, so I've embellished it and then I've added on the side here one of my favourite little uh, charm dangle clip that I always love adding to my Happy Mail. It's also a great little... Uh, charm dangle to add to your planners as a bookmark or just to decorate your planner and I do have these in my store and I'll put the link down below for you if you wanted to head over there and purchase one of these cute little uh, charm dangles they do come in a whole heap of different colors as well so that will be gifted in the pocket uh, there is also a cute little embellished banner that I had also made you will also receive um, some trim using one of my card spools that I made with uh, my envelope punch board. Some cute little bunny stickers. And here's a cute little pinwheel that I made as well. You get a pack of my uh, paper clips. Some of my embellishments that I've made, which I had also done in a previous video. And also some washi samples. And this is a thick uh, acetate. Well, not really thick, but it's a nice sturdy acetate that I had cut up and added some washi on there. I'll just show you how it looks like. I've got here some black cardboard so you can see. So this is the acetate and I've just cut it up and punched a little hole in the middle so you can add some trim to it. I do have these in my store as well. They come in a pack of three. And then it's also a great little way to add your washi and also place this inside your planner as well. And then you'll have all of your favorite washi ready for you to use in your planner or traveler's notebook. Um, so you'll get one of those. Uh, a pack of some of my die cuts some of my mini uh, file folders a pack of the pinwheel die cuts and that's this one here that I've shown you which is this one and all you have to do is just uh, put it together and you'll create a windmill and then just add your favorite little center piece in the middle and then just attach a uh, toothpick to the back it just makes a cute little gift to um, add and also you get a pack of uh, mini envelopes so there are a lot of fun goodies in there for you to use and this is the pocket as you can see it's nice and uh, wide inside so you can put a lot of bulky uh, goodies that you package in there and I'm going to show you how to make one of these it's really easy so you'll just need one piece of a uh, six by six paper and you'll also need a couple of scrap pieces of paper that measures one and a quarter inches by about three inches and then later on we'll just trim the length so the main thing is as long as your um, paper is cut at one and a quarter inches and um, about three inches so you need two pieces of those and all we're going to do here is we're just going to fold it over and leaving about an inch at the top just about an inch roughly um, I don't measure it but um, that's all you want to do there and then the next part you want to do is I'm just going to um, so what you can do here is you can apply glue to each end and then just seal that and that already creates your pocket but it doesn't give you much room for movement inside so you can't put a lot of bulky items in there so we're going to add a gusset to each side to give you that extra um, pocket width like, a, like that so what we do is here we've got the two pieces of your scrap papers and if you got the print on one side, you're going to fold your paper with the print on the inside. So you fold it in half. And then we'll also fold the other one in half with your print on the inside. 
and what we're going to do next is we're just going to grab some glue or your double sided tape whatever you um, like to use now on one side of the flat we're going to apply glue to the one side so I just do that and then we're going to then open up your paper that you folded so on the where am I going on this side here on the shorter side we're going to place that piece of scrap paper that we folded with the glue just below that fold line and just along the edge of your paper just making sure that it all lines up now you're going to have a little bit there sticking out and that's okay because we're going to then um, trim that later so I've got some washi on there so just press that down and then we're going to do the same with the other side just apply some glue to one side of the flap that we folded and again just placing that I'll throw it that way so the fold part goes on the outside so you want to place that and line it up on the edge and just below that fold line so and then we're just going to grab your scissors and we're just going to trim off that extra piece that's sticking out so we're just going to cut that off so this will create that gusset that we need so and then what we do here we'll apply glue to both those uh, flaps and that will create your pocket so we'll just bring this up and line it all up so as you can see that gusset gives you that extra room to add more of your um, goodies and then I just corner around the corners on the top and I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers uh, corner around the punch and I'm and this has three different sizes on here I'm going to use the seven mil uh, size I think that's a seven mil here which is that one so just do that and that creates a nice neat finish to your uh, pocket and that's all there is to it and then you just embellish it add all your fun goodies in there and it's ready for you to gift as happy mail or to uh, give to someone in a swap group so uh, that's the project and I'm going to put all these goodies back in here and then add this to all my other um, prizes for the giveaway and I will hopefully see you in my next video and you will get all the details of what you need to do to enter and then um, I want to wish everyone good luck if you decide to enter the giveaway and I will see you then I'll just put this away so I don't forget and um, I'll see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.